Hi everyone, my name is Carla Riley and I'm here just to talk to you guys about PEP, PTS, or phosphate annual pyruvate phosphate transfer system. So it is most likely found in E. coli, salmonella, or other bacteria cells. It also gains in a lot of energy and it has the potential to donate. It regulates what the cell is using or what it intakes. So phosphate transferous PTS includes phosphate transfer chains PEP E1, HPR, and E2A. So the PEP or phosphate annual pyruvate is going to pass its phosphate group to the enzyme 1. And then so from enzyme 1 is going to pass the PEP to HPR, from HPR to enzyme 2A. And the enzyme 2A is going to bind to glucose 6 inside the bacteria cell, giving it energy. So the bacteria depends heavily on the glucose first to get the energy instead of any other sugar. The three things that a PTS system is doing in the process is cabalit repression is when the cell is on starvation mode when glucose is not available or shortened. So when starvation mode is on, the identical silase in the enzyme of the bacteria cell membrane will convert ATP or to silic camp, C-A-M-P, to turn on phosphate enzyme 2A to identify calyx to the cell membrane, telling the cell that there's no glucose at all. So the next one will be endoser inclusion. And is when bacteria cell is small and doesn't have room for unwanted sugar and blocks any sugar from coming into the bacteria cell except for the glucose. So I'm drawing here how it is mapping out. So I'm drawing everything out, E1, HPR. So to get back to what I was saying, so on the phosphate enzyme 2A, going to bind to the unwanted sugar. Such as monose or fructose in the bacteria cell membrane and is going to block the channels of the unwanted sugar such as monose or fructose, like I said again, from coming into the cell. The glucose is the only channel that is open in the bacteria cell, back in the membrane, and will be the only sugar that is allowed in the cell for bacteria. So the next one, the next final one, is endorsero 
impulsion. I know I spelled the word incorrectly. And impulsion, industrial impulsion is when glucose is shortened and it allows other sugars like monose or fructose to come in. But when the glucose is restored, it gets rid of the monose or fructose. So the bacteria can have room for the glucose. For it to happen like this, HPR takes away the phosphate group in the bacteria cell. So for a quick overview is that glucose goes through the transporter to form glucose 6. The bacteria really wants the glucose because it lags and it's grow better. better. And also PP goes in a group and it goes through a chain of enzymes. Um, all the sugar within the cell is gonna go is going to be phosphatated to keep the sugar from leaving. The three things that a PTS system is doing in the process for a quick overview: catabolist, industrial, industrial inclusion, industrial ex expulsion, uh, pulsing. So basically, catabolism respiration is going to be cell is on starvation mode of and industrial inclusion is going to stop secondary from coming into the cell. Industrial impulsion is when glucose is restored, HPS binds and kicks the secondary source out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys learned all about PEP, PTS, or phosphate annual proving phosphate transfer system in my video. Once again, thank you so much for watching.